I had a youth mentoring program called PEMG um, mm -hmm. from about 2009, no, 2011 to about 2013 or 14 or something like that. My, my dates might be off. Mm -hmm. But I had upwards of 40 young people coming to my house. And I was just teaching them hip hop and stuff like that, man. Engaging my culture the best that I could. And trying to show them that something special was in this thing aside from the fame and the fortune. But the sad thing was that they witnessed me striving to get them some sort of attention. And they wit witnessed the people that claim to be hip hoppers, wax poetic about how it's supposed to be, oh, the moment is getting rail against mumble rap. These mm. young people were spitting fire. Like they was just rhyming, rhyming. You understand, fellas? Mm -hmm. Right. And, and um, yo, to put a long story short, man, people just turn their nose up to them. I guarantee you, you ain't going to put a guest on your show that's going to outrhyme some of these kids. Like I'm telling you for a fact, you got top five, these kids will put them top five on them. I don't care who your top five is. Yeah, and I know everybody top five got Karis, one and rock, and they'll body these cats, yo. That's mm -hmm. how nice these kids was. Now, hands mm -hmm. down. And anybody got any problem with it, come see me because I'll buy it. You will know that these kids are, they, you, know, you ain't got nothing for them. I'm just kind of real. real. Like, and, and you know, yeah, I say yeah, yeah. Like, with a little bit of frustration and anger only because I witnessed these young people that we always trying to engage, engaging. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember one time, it's so real. I remember one time we did a performance at Zulu Nation anniversary. Shout to Zulu Nation for this because they were the one group. That would give them opportunities to do things that were hip hop and claim to be hip hop. They were excited enough to do that for them, right? And I remember one time Chub Rock was like emceeing while I forgot who was DJing was DJing. So they got to a point in the set where, where Chub was down. He was in the in the audience, like with everybody. And the kids was around him, and we was like thirty deep. Like that was what was bugging people out too. I would be coming through it, mad young people, but they was all good kids. You know what I'm saying? And um, so they was in there, you know, they all around them and vibing and stuff like that. So he sees it. And, you know, Chubb get on that, like that old school, y'all don't know nothing about this vibes, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, come on, come on, come on. Let's go, right? Mad love and respectful to him, though, right? Like uncle stuff, right? Right, right. All right, check this out. <laughs> Yo, DJ, give me that one. Word. So the DJ throws so, do, din, 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 oh, oh, din, din, din. <laughs> Damn, before I let go, them kids right with him. Doom, doom. They right with him. Ah, oh, before I let go, they <laughs> right with him. He's like, oh, word. Oh, let's try this. He throw another one on. Whatever, the, you know, the old school joint. They right with him. Ah, da, 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 da. And yo, by the end of the joint, by, by the end of him finishing that little bit of set when he was just doing the old school joints, pull the mic to the side. He leaned into me. He was like, yo, these are your kids. I said, yeah, these are all my babies right here. This is my, this is my youth mentoring program. He said, yo, you're teaching them right, B. You teach nice. them right. And so that was a beautiful thing for me. I experienced, and that same night PMD approached me and was like, yo, oil. Like it was but it's a whole nother discussion about that. Let me I'll get into that in a minute. <laughs> but um, yo, fam, I seen these kids, man. I seen them get their heart broke by hip hop. I seen mm -hmm. hip hop betray them, like not show them the love that these young people deserved. And like every one of them now, they rhyme like these mumble rappers that everybody talking about they can't stand because. They, they felt, you know what I'm saying? They they felt hurt by their parents. Mm. And so it's really important for us, man, as much as we, many of us are upset with our youth in hip hop, you know, um, yo, we are the parents. And it's a job of the parent, you know what I'm saying? To provide right guidance to their children. You understand what I'm saying? And it's the job of the marketer to market to the consumer. It's not the job of the consumer to market to the marketer. The consumer don't got to qualify himself for your product unless your product is very high end and you've established their business. No, the product got to qualify itself to consumer. And we have a bill, but we have to qualify that to these kids. Right. Gotcha. I mean, you know, yeah, we put in our work. It should be evident. But they're experiencing our work, but not through us, but through other people who are offering them money and riches and fame and power. And so they're going to listen to that person first before they listen to their disgruntled pops that before they could get word go out their mouth, the father then disrespected everything that they love and believe in. 
because it ain't his and from his times. Mm. And that's just not the way. Right. 